up everybody Jeff back here for some mag 2.0 commentary also known as my first impressions video as soon as I get by my first impressions and it's probably gonna be a commentary for the rest of it because I didn't cut anything out but uh, I actually got asked by a buddy of mine destruction when mine was coming up here it is brother now you know um, mag 2.0 it's not bad. I like the uh, supply depot. The sun. I like the stuff they did with the skill tree. The thing, um, right now I can't wait for the next patch because, um, hopefully they tone down the shotgun a bit because, like, let's see later on. It's insane range. Um, the knifing, I find it's not. Um, how to say it? Hmm. It's not exactly consistent. If I, like, I got full damage now. I got, like, three, the highest damage you can go. And even, I can't, even if the guy has the uh, sniper armor, like, the lightest armor you can get, he will, he will still take one, maybe two. I've had once where it was three. D don't mind what's going on. I'm just checking out my, my, uh, pellets and all that. The shotgun, um, I know I'm bouncing ideas already, but the shotgun, you can take the shotgun, and it's basically the new sniper rifle right now. Um, a couple, a while back, I was playing with, uh, some of my clan members on UVO. I don't remember who was on the church. Maybe it was Rios. I don't remember. But, uh, our buddy Rios, I think it was him at least, he was on the church on uh, this this map which is Copper Hills Valor's map he was on the church and I was in A and I man it I shot at him it took about an eighth to a quarter of his health away seriously seriously the the bullet uh, basically for, if I'm not mistaken the bullet how many pellets there were in the old shotgun shells it was more than six. I think it was like, uh, I think me and my buddy we counted ten once. So basically, what Zipper did was replace bird shot with buckshot in a sense. So now you got basically no spread over, well, more. I hope, I think there's still more spread over a distance, but it's they still stay pretty close together. And there's more damage. So yeah, basically, the it's the new sniper rifle. So I decided to pick up the M4 instead, but hey, save that for later. Um, back to my impressions. It's freezing. The game is freezing like crazy. I can play, I've only had it once or twice where it was Sabo and it froze, but that was uh, like the first weekend that the patch was out. <clears throat> Pardon me. Other than that, everything else freezes. I can't play a full game of interdiction, a full game of domination, a full game of acquisition. Anything that requires more than um more than a total of 64 players. At least I think that. Yeah, that's. I believe that's how. Uh, that's how Sabo is 32 v 32. If it requires more than 64 players total, on like. In the whole game then you might as well just get ready for hard hard reset fun because I can't I cannot count how many times I have been sitting there and playing the game just nice and having fun and it freezes on me and that that really pisses me off a lot it pisses me off when I'm playing the game and then middle of the game we're doing really good and then half the room gets booted they, they get half the room gets frozen so you have to turn off your ps3 uh, via the switch on the back and you have to completely reset your system like it, it gets annoying man it gets really annoying I, I haven't been playing anything more than um, than uh, Sabo but I kind of got a a theory as to why it's freezing. I don't. I honestly, I don't even know if it's zipper. 
but everyone says it's zipper. I'm gonna semi believe them. But I think it's mostly uh, a PlayStation Network update because I say this because I can be no matter what game I'm playing. Like I was, I got Ruse. It's a very fun game, by the way. I'll have a video later on if I feel like it. But maybe a live commentary on that. Maybe I'll do that. Um, Ruse. It's a new. It's a game that's been out for a while. I bought it. I was playing it and it froze. I tried to go on Battlefield. Tried to play it. It froze. Fox Two. Very fun game, by the way. Tried to play it. It froze. Everything. A lot of games that I have are freezing. I don't know. Hang on, let me just move my mic around. That way you guys can hear me better. It's... Uh, I'm not sure if it's Zipper. I'm, I'm sure that some of it is acquainted with Zipper. Like the freezing during mag. But I think some of it, or a good part of it, is um, actually PlayStation. Or Sony, I should say. Because... I only say this because... Jeez, I hate this. Mic distortion shit. I only say this because um, I can. No matter what game I play, it'll freeze. Some of uh, some of them will freeze. Some of them won't. Like it, it seems to me that as soon as I hard reset it, and then it won't do it for it won't do it for a little while longer. But yeah, I don't know. I don't know. So what did I cover? I covered the knife already. I covered the shotgun being the new sniper rifle. I covered the freezing. Uh, that's about it for the stuff I don't, that's, I find wrong, but the good stuff, the supply depot's a good spot. The only, the only thing I wish they kind of would get rid of would be more, like, lower the levels a little more. Not that I have a problem, because I'm already, like, level 64 or 65, I think. I'm not too, too sure. Um, I wish that the DLC stuff, because you have to, especially when you go to the supply depot now, you have to pay for... To get your sniper rifle, even though you've already bought it, you bought it up front off of the PlayStation Network. What, what my suggestion would be: all DLC would not be, you wouldn't have to spend your um, your points on them because I, I find that's just stupid. I don't even know what that blue dot was doing. Friggin' idiot. Uh, but yeah, um, uh, I, I I don't really think that they should start. Like, if we download DLC, we shouldn't have to spend our... I don't even know what they're called. I'll just say CP. Our CP, I don't think we should have to spend it on that DLC to be able to... Uh, on the DLC that we've already bought. Why are we going to download it and then have to spend our CP on it? Oh, sorry. Let me... Re it's not CP. It's currency points. Sorry. Why would are we going to have to download it and then spend currency points to use it? Why don't... Why not just let us download it and then just go like that? I don't know what that blue dot's doing either. He's an idiot. I was playing with a bunch of randoms. If I was playing with my clan, you could probably expect a better game than this. We'd probably have A and B right now and then be on our way to C. Um, that's pretty much it for what I what's going wrong with the game. Uh, that's, that's pretty much it. Like I said, I don't know, I'm repeating myself. But, the knifing is screwed up. The, um, the shotgun is really screwed up. It needs to be fixed. Oh, failed grenade. Uh, the shotgun needs to be fixed. The damage has to be dealt. has to decline over a distance again. Because they just screwed it up again. Ah, uh, what else? What else? What else? What else? I'm guessing that's pretty much it for that. So, um, I'm sure, I'm sure some of my viewers would want to know, um, would well, would enjoy being able to use Sony Vegas. So, I got a tip for you. I'll, I'm gonna be linking. Of, I'm gonna, well, hopefully, if I remember, I'll link a video in the description and I'll also link um, I'll also put a link for a website that gives you this um, it's called a keygen 
and you just follow the video with the use the key gen and all that and you can get sony vegas for free i'm not even joking i've already done it i did that yesterday i was hoping to have a few videos up yesterday so i had done some recording uh but i couldn't change anything to w wmv format and even when it was wmv format the um <coughs> pardon me the um Windows Movie Maker wasn't working. It, it said I needed to download a codec or something. I don't know. It, it used to work on my laptop. It doesn't work there anymore. I never tried it on my PC. I got Sony Vegas for that. And it's awesome. So, um, I, sh I was supposed to have some videos up yesterday. I got a live commentary. Actually, I w uh, should be up before this one. I don't know. Um, so, yeah, whatever. I'll upload them. I'll just spoil it. I'll just say it anyways, just in case I don't upload them in the same order that I'm thinking right now. Battlefield 1943 live commentary. I don't know when I'm going to put that up. I'm hoping maybe I'll put it up after this one. Maybe I'll put it up before. I don't know. Medal of Honor's coming out tomorrow. Um, I should have some... If you guys like the live commentary thing, then maybe I'll do some more live commentary in... Just put it in the description if you like it for an idea. It, it actually saves me more editing trouble because I don't really have to... I don't have to watch the footage back later on and re, re and record myself talking. Bleh. So it would actually... It would benefit um, you guys and it would benefit me. I know I've seen a bunch of YouTube commentators... Well, a couple YouTube commentators doing that, doing this the past little while. There was uh, Gearbuscon. I was, uh, there was also McHags. He did 1943, like I did. I've had my footage since Friday. I've had it ready to. I've had it. I've been waiting to for an editing program since like Friday to be able to do this. I only got it. Yeah, I only got. Sony Vegas unlocked uh, yesterday, which was Sunday, so <clears throat> I got the key gen for it and everything worked, so I'll link you the video and the website to get that key gen. Um, actually, I'll link you straight to the, because you go through the website, I think it's called 9down, you go through the web 9down or something like that, and then you get all of your, you get the key gen, and then well, you, sorry, you click on the download link and then it sends you to a different website. I'll just send you to the different website. There's no sign up. It's free. There's nothing. The only thing that it that you have to do is click slower download because that way it's free. And you got to wait like, what is it? I think it's like 40 seconds or something to start. And then it takes about 5 or 10 seconds to download it depending on your internet speed, I should say. And then uh, you need WinZip, or I use a program called JZip. JZip is free, it's awesome, it's better than WinZip, it's simpler. The way you do it is you take the, you go into the keygen, you find the keygen application, and you, um, <coughs> you drag and drop it onto your desktop, and then you can open it from there. You do whatever the video says. If you guys don't understand what I'm saying, if I'm confusing you, I'm sorry. Uh, if anyone knows a good link to a program to record what's on my screen, like, f the whole time, no matter what screen I'm on, I know Fraps doesn't do that. But if you do know a program like that, let me know, and then I'll put up a, I'll put up a little basic, basic, um, what kind of what I'm trying to talk about video. Basically kind of showing what, uh, what I'm talking about. So that is it, ladies and germs. Raven wins. Most of them had shotguns, LMGs, heavy armor. Oh, that, that's that's one more thing. That's one more thing before I go. The amount of people using the shotgun and heavy armor loadouts is has gone through the roof. But that's for another day. Thanks for watching. Have fun. Oh, by the way, since it's Thanksgiving, happy Thanksgiving, everybody. Goodbye. Enjoy the rest of your freaking day.